Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am finally filming my review and lip swatches on the ColourPop Matte Luxe Lipsticks. I just want to apologize for how long it's taken me to get this video up, but seriously, it was out of my control. This just took forever to get to me. So ColourPop has launched their Matte Luxe Lipsticks. This is like an extension to their Luxe Lipsticks and all of these 14 shades are in a matte formula. So similar to their Lippy Sticks where they have the original formula and then they have like the matte formula and the matte X, so on and so forth. So I picked up this vault. It comes with 12 matte luxe lipsticks. There are 14 in total. They didn't include the two crazy blue shades, but you can get this for $84. You don't save any money on it. It's just if you want to get the whole collection, you can just click one time instead of clicking 12 times. So Colourpop claims these matte luxe lipsticks to be a velvet matte and they also will be very long wearing. There are also a bunch of other claims as well but those are the two claims that just kind of stand out to me. Before we get any further into the video I am wearing High Striker which is one of the matte luxe lipsticks. I always leave in the description what I'm actually wearing on myself um, so if you're ever curious of what top I'm wearing or just my lashes or my lip color, I will always write it in my description box. So when these first launched, I initially thought that these would be like very, very, very matte. What I find very similar with these is that it's very easy to apply just like the original formula. It's very smooth, very creamy, and it has that kind of thick feeling. But the thing with the matte Luxe lipsticks, it's like a little bit more drying, but it's not a dry lipstick just compared to the original formula. It's just a little bit more drying than that. Also with the matte ones, if you apply too much, it's really going to crease into your fine lines on your lips. And with the matte luxe lipsticks, you only need a light hand with it. They're so pigmented, you don't need a lot of product. Sometimes I can even get carried away with it and just like apply so much on. So yeah, to me, it wasn't too much of a difference from the original formula. I feel like the only difference is, is that it's a little bit more matte. It still has that, like it's a velvet matte, so it still has a bit of a satin sheen to it. Some of the shades are more matte than others. But but overall, it's pretty similar to the original formula in my opinion. They both feel the same on the lips. They're both very comfortable. And also, the matte Luxe lipsticks don't have a smell. The original Luxe lipsticks, they smell very sweet. But these ones, they don't have a smell. And the more crazy colors, they kind of smell like crayon. I don't know, it's just a really minor thing. I thought I would mention it. That is just my feelings about the formula. I feel like it wasn't too much of a crazy jump or finishes to me. Like, yeah, there is a little bit of a difference, but it's only like a little difference. I still feel like it feels exactly the same on the lips where it's very hydrating and comfortable, but it's not like matte, matte, matte. I feel like the one I'm wearing right now, High Striker, is one of the more matte ones, but some of them, they don't look as matte as this. In my opinion, I feel like if they were gonna create a new finish, they should have just like blown out, went with a straight matte, not like a velvet matte. I still enjoy the matte ones. I feel like they're both equally enjoyable and likable. So now I just wanna talk about the shade range with this first 14 Lux Lipstick launch. To me, I feel like it could have been a lot better. I feel like some of these shades we have seen from ColourPop before. I have eight dupes to share with you guys from some of their other Luxe lipsticks compared to these ones. So 14 launch, that's like more than half that I could dupe. And when you guys see the dupes on my lip, like you could not like you can't even tell a difference. But in a sense, I can see that's not really a bad thing because maybe some people didn't like the original formula and they like the matte formula a lot better, but there are certain shades from the original formula that they wanted in the matte formula. For those people, it's great, but for someone that enjoys both formulas, you know, I personally would have liked to see you more fun colors or even more warmer nudes. So overall, I would recommend these. I actually love the Luxe lipsticks, whether it's the original formula or the matte formula. I personally love it. I love all the shades. I think there's just a shade for everyone of any age, of any color, skin tone. Like I just love the Luxe lipsticks and the variety it has. So it's great that they came out with a new formula, but I just personally feel like they could have done more with it. Now we are going to move on to dupes. Like I said, I have eight dupes for you guys. So the first one that we have here here is called Paparazzi and the dupe that I have is the shade Dream Easy. So Dream Easy is from the Spring Collection I believe. When you are comparing it on your lips like literally you could not tell the difference. Nobody is gonna like double take at you and be like 
hey, she's wearing two different lipsticks. Dream Easy is a little bit more lighter, like a touch more lighter, and it's just a bit more rosy, I guess, and then Paparazzi is a little bit more darker. But I feel like because of the formula, maybe that's why it's a little bit darker. Dream Easy was actually my favorite shade from the spring collection, so obviously I'm a big fan of Paparazzi as well. If I wasn't like collecting the whole Lux lipstick range, I would honestly just keep one or the other. And the next one is Big Break Matte Lux Lipstick. And the dupe I have is the shade Afterglow, which is also from the Spring Collection. Afterglow is obviously a lot more lighter, but they are in the same tone of family. And when it's on the lips, it looks very, very, very similar. I feel like it's just like one shade lighter. And the next suit we're talking about is Little League Matte Luxe Lipstick. And for the dupe, it is the shade Come On Sis. Lux lipstick. This one is from Shayla's collection. I really did try my best to get like really good lighting where you could see it like directly in the sun and I feel like when it's directly in the sun you can really see the true shades compared to each other. So you can see that they look almost exactly alike. I just think when it's swatched it looks a little bit different. And the next dupe I have is Money Moves with the shade LA Lady from the original first launch. Money Moves is a bit more warm and LA Lady is a bit more like neutral cool but again on their lips they look so similar. LA Lady is actually one of my favorites from the original launch so obviously you know I love money moves. The next shade is Mine Trick and I will be comparing this to Foolish from the original launch as well. Foolish is a lot more orange, a lot more lighter. Mine Trick is a bit more burnt orange and a lot more darker than it. So if you like Foolish and you wanted it to be a little bit darker then maybe try Mine Trick. Moving along we have Trapeze in the matte formula and I will be comparing this to Get A Room from the, I think it was the original launch or was it the spring collection? Oh, this one was very, very similar, like almost exact. Get A Room, it's just a little bit more neon orange, like a pinch more neon orange. And next up I have Maxed Out Matte Formula and I'm gonna be comparing it to what if from the original launch? So to me, maxed out is just like a straight up hot pink, whereas what if is a bit more berry. I personally prefer maxed out. I think this one I love like a true hot pink. I used to rock a true hot pink like every single day a couple years ago, and just wearing maxed out again, it just rekindled my love for a hot pink lip. And then lastly, for my last dupe, I have Shashé, and obviously my dupe for it is Hello Stranger which is one of the darkest from the original launch. This is exactly the same thing but just different finish. They made Shashé to be the same as Hello Stranger. I, I honestly see no difference. Maybe like Shashé is a little bit more burgundy and Hello Stranger is a little bit more like brown. So those were all eight dupes for you guys. Hopefully you found that helpful. As for the other shades, I swatched all of them on my arms and used all of my Lux lipsticks and compared them, but only these eight I could find like a close enough dupe to them. So if you own any of the dupes that I mentioned, hopefully this video would help you, but I don't even know if it's gonna help any of you guys. I feel like my video is so late to the game, you guys probably didn't want to wait for me and just already bought the colors that you wanted to buy. Hopefully it was helpful to someone. Okay, so now I want to talk about my favorites from this launch. I have five favorites that are more like everyday shades that I would wear personally. And then I have three shades that I think are just so unique that you just have to have. And everything else I like, I love the formula, but it's just shades that I personally wouldn't pick up every day for my everyday like makeup routine. But it might be shades that I would pick up for certain eye looks, certain and makeup looks stuff like that. The first one is definitely Paparazzi. I think this is such a beautiful shade. Like I just duped, it is very similar to Dream Easy, but Dream Easy was my favorite from the spring collection, so obviously Paparazzi had to be another favorite of mine. I just think it's beautiful. So I feel like the next couple of shades is going to be to be expected from me. So obviously Money Moves, even though I duped this one, I just think it's such a gorgeous color. I know this is going to be one of my top favorite luxe lipsticks. Do you guys want a video on my top 10 favorite luxe lipsticks? I would love to do a video on that. Would that be helpful? Let me know in the comments down below or just thumbs up this video and I'll be sure to film that for you guys. But of course, Money Moves had to be one. The next one is obviously Mind Trick. Oh, I just, I just love these warm brownie colors. And then we have Maxed Out. Like I said, when I just wore this again, it reminded me when I used to wear this like hot pink look of lipstick from 3 Concept Eyes 
all the time when I went Korea like back in 2014. I just love this shade. And obviously High Striker is one of my other favorites. That's why I'm wearing it for the intro of this video. I just feel like Colourpop Luxe Lipstick doesn't have like a true red. And this, I wouldn't say it's like a true classic red, but it's like 80% classic red. I just love a good red lip. So yeah, those were my top five favorites out of the whole collection. Those are the ones that I would recommend. It's the ones that I see myself picking up just like every day, like going out and wearing them. And like I said, I have three that I feel like you should check out just because it's just so unique that you just need it. So the first one that I highly recommend that you pick up because I have never seen a shade like this. I don't own a shade even close to this one. It is Chick Please. This is just like a straight orange tangerine color. Like tangerine, that's what I think of. And then obviously, I think the two crazy fun blue shades are really unique as well. I really don't see anything like this. And usually with more of these fun shades like you don't want to spend too much money on them because you're not going to use them every day like I know some brands like is it like Melt Cosmetics and also Lime Crime they have all these crazy fun colors but you don't want to spend that much money on colors that you're not going to wear that often so I think it's really cool that Colourpop comes up with these fun colors that you can get and it's great for like Halloween it's not like I'm never going to wear these again but um, the first one is Confetti Cake which is like a Tiffany teal blue and then we have Troll Seeker which is like a periwinkle blue. I think it's just really unique and when there are more unique shades for an affordable price, I think just go for it. It's great to have in your collection. Okay, so those were all of my favorites and recommendations. Now that we've got everything out of the way, we can go ahead and get started with all of the lip swatches.
is going to conclude my video today on the ColourPop Matte Luxe Lipsticks. If you guys did enjoy this video and did find it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up for me and also comment down below if you guys picked up any shades for yourself. I want to know which shade is your favorite. Or did you guys actually wait for my video before you bought anything? If you waited for my video just so you could see my opinion on it and my swatches and then you're going to buy something, seriously, that means like so much to me that you would wait for my videos. Like that is going to conclude my video for today thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye